Welcome to World War II Chronicles, a weekly tribute to America's fighting men and women in commemoration of the Second World War. These programs are narrated by Ed Herlihy and are based on the news broadcasts of the war period from the recorded sound collection of the National Archives in Washington, D.C. Escorted by American aircraft, two Japanese planes painted white and carrying green identifying crosses, just as General MacArthur has instructed, set down offshore from Okinawa. This is the transfer point for Manila, where bitter tea awaits the Japs. Lieutenant General Kawabe, Vice Chief of the Nipponese General Staff, leads the surrender party. The reception, minus the presence of General MacArthur, is distinctly on the chilly side. This is complete capitulation, something the stunned Japs have yet to realize to its full extent. Meanwhile, their armies throughout Asia and the Pacific are crumbling in surrender. Allied Supreme Commander MacArthur, getting ready for the Tokyo takeover, throws this out to the troops in front of Manila City Hall. Very shortly, I trust we'll all be going home. On the decks of the USS Missouri in Tokyo Bay, the Japanese delegation signs the formal surrender documents. Military chiefs from each of the victorious Allied powers do the same. General MacArthur. We are gathered here, representatives of the major warring powers, to conclude a solemn agreement whereby peace may be restored. It is my earnest hope, and indeed the hope of all mankind, that from this solemn occasion, a better world shall emerge out of the blood and carnage of the past. In Washington, President Truman offers thanks and urges Americans to work as diligently in peace as they have in war. To all of us, there comes first a sense of gratitude to Almighty God, who sustained us and our allies in the dark days of grave danger who made us to grow from weakness into the strongest fighting force in history, and who now has seen us overcome the forces of tyranny that sought to destroy his civilization. God grant that in our pride of the hour, we may not forget the hard tasks that are still before us, that we may approach these with the same courage, zeal, and patience with which we face the trials and problems of the past four years. I'm Ed Herlihy with World War II Chronicles. World War II Chronicles was produced by the American Veterans Center and Radio America in cooperation with the National Archives. To listen to more episodes, subscribe on iTunes or visit AmericanVeteransCenter.org. We need your help to keep the legacy of our World War II generation alive. Visit AmericanVeteransCenter.org to make a donation to support World War II Chronicles and the ongoing work of the American Veterans Center.